But first, I want you to take a good look at these three young people on their screen. These are the Doherty's, brothers Dylan and Ryan, big sis, Lee Grace. Look pretty clean cut, range in age 22 to 29. Well, let me read you what Lee Grace Doherty posted online. I love to farm and shoot guys and wreck cars. I'm a redneck and proud of it. I like milk and German engineering and causing mayhem with my siblings. Mayhem indeed. The FBI says this trio repeatedly shot at an officer who tried to pull them over for uh, speeding in Zephyr Hills, Florida on Tuesday. Take a listen to this. No. Hey. These three are now suspects in the attempted murder of that police officer. I want to show you another image here. Uh, these are some of the images of their car. Take a good long look because FBI needs your help. We're told this is a white four door 2006 Subaru Impreza. Just a couple of hours and a couple of hundred miles later from that chase, the trio allegedly robbed this bank in Valdosta, Georgia. And we have this. These are uh, surveillance photos from inside the bank. The FBI. They're not exaggerating when they warn that these siblings are very well armed and extremely dangerous. Everyone, friends, relatives, local sheriff, even their mother, as I mentioned, they're predicting this manhunt will not end peacefully. Brian Lampkin uh, here with me now is with the uh, Atlanta Division of the FBI. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me, Brooke. Let's just begin with, you know, it's been, what, a full week now since they've popped up. Um, do you have any leads? We continue to get leads uh, throughout uh, Georgia and Florida uh, from a variety of sources. Uh, we, we follow up on everything we get. Uh, but right now, the last thing that we've seen was Valdosta, the robbery at Valdosta Bank. A week ago today. What, Brian, triggered this, do you believe, or what their mother is saying? It could be a number of things. I have to ask them uh, once we uh, get, them in, get, get them in custody, correct. But, uh, you know, Ryan possibly from a, a court uh, sentencing that happened the day before. He cut off his ankle bracelet for monitoring and, and then within a matter of minutes uh, is engaging in the, uh, the speeding uh, pursuit with the officer and firing on them. I had read that he is a father, about to be a father. Wanted to see his young child, um, perhaps not. Perhaps that's part of the reason why uh, he wanted to cut off that ankle bracelet. A lot of, uh, I guess, no one really fully knows, like you said, until you actually hopefully catch them. But I want to read something because apparently um, that the deputies said Ryan Doherty specifically sent his mother this troubling message after the shooting, and here's what he said: At some point, we all have to die. So that's this, this message this son sends to his mother. Um, meantime, the mother is urging the siblings to give themselves up. Watch this. Only mom knows what good people you are inside. Please prove me right and everybody wrong by doing the right thing now and, and turning yourselves in. Clearly mom speaking in shadows, doesn't want to be seen or identified. Is she cooperating with you all? She continues to cooperate uh, with law enforcement. I couldn't agree with her more. As a parent, I, I would want to see this in peacefully. We encourage them to turn themselves in. We encourage any neighbors or friends or other family members who know, may know where they are to uh, make that known to law enforcement. We do not recommend the, the public at all. Uh, you know, engage. Uh, engage them, but treat them with extreme caution. We've seen the billboards. If you live in the southeast, they've been plastered all over, armed, extremely dangerous. But I do want to ask you, do you know anything about this home they lived in in Zephyr Hills, Florida? And I've read about this bunker underground. Um, apparently, according to some reports, it was hidden below the property, a sophisticated bunker, um, two 40-foot cargo containers buried side by side, man-made hallway leading to the bunker, running water, electricity. Do not, we know? Not familiar with that, but we continue to follow up on everything that uh, we develop in the case, whether it's credible or not. Okay. Brian Lampkin with uh, FBI here in Atlanta. Let, we'll follow up with you when and if you catch them, all right? Thank you, Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate it.